let's learn about how this routing happens okay so we no longer we no longer use a uh, the we no longer use call classful addressing right so uh this is uh, this is not used uh the crowd uh, routers no longer maintain the uh store the routes according to the classful addressing architecture but when classful addressing was active routers used to maintain three routing tables for a three classes okay class a class b class c so what routers use routers use see we can use both network specific and host specific com combine routers use network address which is a destination do you get it and next stop next hop and interface okay yeah interface so see if you take a router there are different interfaces okay so we call that as a, there are different namings okay m0 m1 m2 m3 okay so we have seen that interface also here there is an interface for a what is the interface name yeah n1 which is the interface name for the my wireless uh, co connection here okay network card what is elvo which is a interface name for the local host okay so likewise uh, see uh, each interface is also identified by the unique name if you have multiple cards connected to your system then you will see multiple interfaces okay here em0 that is not listed here that is ethernet okay so if we if i can See, do you see interfaces here different interfaces yeah yes okay en1 is uh, the wireless one en0 en4 that's different interfaces are there so so routers maintain is to maintain the interface these three two so in a classful addressing routers used to maintain these different each three diff tables different tables for uh, each class class a class b and class c and each table contains a network address next stop and interface and uh, you know already when for suppose when when a ip address receives okay so let's say that uh, uh, destination ip is 192.168. 5.10 the what is the class of this ip address routers in a in a classful addressing routers know already class of the address so in a classful addressing what routers what values are predetermined one if ip address given routers know class and net mask right why because each class has a default mask associated with for class a which is what is a for class a what it is eight right mask is for class a eight class b six uh 16 class c 24 so they don't so they if if ip address is given the oh, routers know already in classful addressing based on ip router can find the class can find the net mask can find the network also okay okay so in a forwarding in a classful addressing routers know with the ip address given routers know class of the address net mask network the how how does they know 
the class of the address based on the first first octet first four bits right if first four bits are starting with the we have this table yeah So here, first bit starts with z zero, which is class A, one zero class B, one one zero class C. So one ninety two from one ninety two to the two twenty three. What is it is? Any IP address that falls under this range is a class C. And if class C, we know router finds the class C based on the first IP, first octet. What happens? Router extract the first four bits. Okay. If first four bits are starting with 110, it can see that the destination IP address is class C. Okay. So what are we discussing? We are discussing the forwarding process in a classful addressing. Okay. So we have a router. This router, let's imagine this router is given. Okay. And packet is coming. Okay. Packet is coming from m1 source m1 okay interface m1 it is coming on interface m1 the way to send this packet okay there is a different network connected here different network connected here connected here the way to send okay so different network means here different router is here okay way to send this packet so that is where the router makes these decisions so it can see that uh, coming address is one destination address is well, how can router find the destination address it can it can capture the destination packet that is coming and uh, we know that right osi layer right in osi layer we have seen encapsulation decapsulation and the packet is encapsulated and uh, within a frame we have a header Dial for the frame and uh, what is the next layer? Data link layer, right? Physical layer, data link layer, and then network layer. Network layer contains header and then body, right? And this contain body contains header again header for the transport layer if it is a TCP. So it extracts this packet and from header it can find the destination address, right? It can find the destination destination IP and the assume that destination IP it received is a 192.168.5.10 and based on this one which class it is class C and what is the net mask which is 24 okay it is class C 24 and what is the based on from net mask you can get, get the default net mask and uh, and uh, with the default net mask you know the you know what is the network address what is network address 192.168.5.0 right so so what is the destination network here yes network network hop interface so you will have a different entries for different networks okay here uh 192.168.5. let me let me like write it down so it will be clear 192.5.0 which is one network 192.168.6.0 another network right 192.168.10.0 10.0 which is another network like that so what router does it found out it found that the destination the class of the destination ip is class c so that it will check which table class c routing table okay and class c routing table and for class c routing table you will have entries do you have a network address in a class c 
fives are zero, right? Yeah, and for that it will find the next stop. Let's say that for the ne next stop uh, is for a five dot zero. This is M zero. Okay, the address of uh, the next stop here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot five dot one. Okay, this is M one. Okay, this router of this IP R. Let's say this is called R not, and this is uh, R. Call it as a R A. Okay, so what is next stop? IP address of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. The address of IP address of that interface. Yeah, yeah. What is this here? This this address. Okay, so which is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot. Five dot one, and to which interface? To which to which interface it is connected to this router? This router R not M zero. Okay. So what router does? M zero router. Sorry, R not router. R not router takes find found that there is a net. Entry for that network. It found that next stop is nine one ninety dot one six two, and that next stop is connected over the M zero network. Well, sorry, M zero interface. So it will that packet will uh, this yeah this R not router will send that packet to this IP one ninety dot one six eight dot five dot one. Okay, connected on an interface M zero. Okay, so this packet is coming here over the interface M1. It found that there's a router, router connected over the interface M0, and the address of that router is 192.168.5.1, so that it will send that to the this IP over this interface. This is this is routing of. See, see. Uh, we have to give. Uh, we have to give both uh, here in a routing table. Okay, this uh, both uh, both interface and the next stop. But next stop will be nothing empty for a direct delivery. See here, another packet is coming from M one. Okay. Uh, which is, the network is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot six dot zero, which is this network connected here, okay, and the packet is coming from one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot six dot five, and destination is six dot ten, and uh, for for this router, for this router, like this, each router maintains the routing table, okay. And uh, th what we are discussing, we are discussing forwarding for a uh, classful addressing. And this is we no longer use this classful addressing, but we are learning because classless addressing is nothing different. But uh, uh, there will be extra column. We will discuss. So for this R not for the destination for this network, what is the next stop for six dot zero? What is next stop? Nothing. Because that is that is a that is yeah direct delivery and which interface M one. Okay, this is how this is how the forwarding happens in a, with a classful addressing architecture, and uh, this is how each router maintains three different routing tables for a each routing table routing table for each class. Now let's discuss forwarding for a classless addressing. We we will discuss a classless forwarding uh, forwarding for a classless addressing in the coming session. Okay.